You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. This episode is sponsored by Demand Derivatives, a startup futures exchange and clearinghouse trading the world's major assets in a creative new way. You already trade on an exchange. Here is your chance to own one. Before they approach large strategic partners for funding, the pioneering team at Demand Derivatives launched a crowdfunding portal so that regular traders have the chance to buy shares. Learn more and become a part of this revolutionary fintech project now at demandderivatives.com slash crowdfunding. And now it's time for the show that breaks down the options market from unusual activity alerts to market analysis, strategy overviews, listener questions, and much more. If it involves puts and calls, then our all-star panel will break it down. It's time to hit the option block with your host, Mark Longo from the Options Insider Media Group and co-hosts. Uncle Mike Tussaw from St. Charles Wealth Management, along with Mark the Greasy Meatball Sebastian and Andrew the Rock Lobster Joe Venazzi from OptionPit.com. And now, get ready to hit the Option Block. All right, everybody. If you haven't figured it out by now, a little bit different music. Doing something a little bit different here on the option block for the Thursday episode. It is Christmas Eve after all. We're not monsters here. We're not going to make everybody come in and record a show on the holiday here. So we're doing something a little bit different. Going to turn the spotlight on you guys. In particular, what you guys focused on this year. What were the hot episodes, the things you guys really tuned into en masse throughout the entirety of of 2020. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Here are your top five episodes of the Option Block for 2020. Coming in at number five, we've got the Option Block episode 921 entitled Silver, A Thief in the Night. I think you know what we were talking about on this episode, listeners. That was aired back on July 27th. Of this year. So, right in the middle of the year, right in the middle of the madness that was 2020. You know, Uncle Mike was talking about a little bit of the old silver on that show. That was, that title came from his oft cited quote on the show and on the deed on the program going back since time immemorial that silver comes like a thief in a night because it did just that on that episode. Silver hit 24 24 on that show. That was the highest level of the time it had hit. Since 2013, we also saw pretty much big rallies across the board. The broad equity markets were rallying that day on stimulus talks. We saw gold also rallying, not quite at 2,000, getting pretty close to that level. VIX still feeling frothy at about a 25.50 out there, but obviously well off the highs from earlier in the year. Later on the show, in the strategy block, Uncle Mike broke down how to modify call spreads for uncertain markets and we wrapped up the show by answering some of your questions about naked short puts that was episode 921 of the option block your number five episode for 2020 all right and coming in at number four on your top five episodes of the year here the option block 925 it's kind of like a nice strip here in terms of the ones you guys really tuned into and mass this year episode 925 entitled crazy collars 
and Rolling Diagonals. That was from August 10th of this year. So getting into the latter summer portion, and not quite in the dog days yet, but getting close to it. That was on the heels of a bit of a mixed trading day. VIX had come in a little bit since our number five episode down to about 22 and a quarter, which if you're paying attention to the markets is pretty much right about where it is right now. So net from August, VIX hasn't moved a lot. You know, in between it has swung quite a bit, but net from August on that show till now, not a lot of net movement going on there. What were some of the big topics there? Well, Kodak was very much in our crosshair still. Remember, of course, that was that was on the heels of that very controversial pivot that Kodak made that a lot of insiders seemed to be taking advantage of. Everyone was all a Twitter about the call activity in Kodak, particularly on behalf of some of their executives, which turned out to be known bueno <laughs> out there. So crazy Kodak calls was dominating our discussion. We also talked about Apple diagonals that day in the strategy block. Uncle Mike had a nice little quote there also. He said, if you had told me back in March... And we'll be back at all-time highs in SPX by August. I would have assumed that we'd have found a cure for COVID. That's not the case, but we're still in rally mode. I've never been more cautious than I am right now. You know when Uncle Mike says that, it's time to pay attention. That was your number four episode for 2020. All right, and coming in at number three on our countdown of the top five episodes of the Option Block for 2020 is episode 919, We Are Legend. Of course, that title, a bit of a play on the Richard Matheson book, the great end-of-the-world vampire apocalypse. Don't see too many of those. Usually it's the old zombie apocalypse books, as well as, of course, the subpar <laughs> Will Smith film of a, a similar name. And, of course, the uh, awesome white zombie song of the same name out there. Tweaked it a little bit, We Are Legend, of course, for the old all-star panel. What was lighting up the show that day? Well, the vaccine hopes are starting to get a little promising. By the way, this aired on July 20th of this year, even though the virus toll was getting a little bit worse out there. VIX was threatening a 25, about 24.75 on the show. We saw interesting action. That was the first time, I believe, or very close to the first time, that we saw Neo actually... Top in the charts here in our top 10 most actives back at 372,000 contracts. Oh, that could top the charts back in July. Oh, how the worm has turned. Apple only did 315,000. Tesla was barely in the top 10 at number six with 228,000. That's a rounding error to those names now. Shows how much more paper is going up in those names right now than there was even back in July, July 20th to be precise. We also broke down some of the FIA data on the first half of the year for 2020 futures and options volume trends. In the iBlock, we talked about call overwriting in Johnson and & Johnson and IBM, as well as some call love in GLYC. Uncle Mike talked about when to sell puts and when to sit in cash and a whole bunch more for your episode 919 we are legend. All right, and coming in at number two on the top five option block episodes of 2020, going back out a little bit to episode 929 of the option block, better known as Masters of the Trading Universe. Yeah, I think you know what we were doing on this episode, listeners. That was back on August 24th of this year. That's where we were kicking off some of our network kickoff fun with the 80s themes guessing game. I don't even have to look to know what we played on that episode. Yep. A little bit of the old He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, which if you look around the old Options Insider Studio here, you'll see one or two Motu-related tchotchkes <laughs> decorating the studio. It was another green start to the week on that episode. VIX at right around 22 and a half, down slightly from our previous show, but it wasn't a big move out there as well. We talked about a lot of hedging activity Going up in Apple, as well as earnings in Best Buy, Intuit, and Dell. Talked about some crazy call love in the odd block in GPS. And in the mail block, we answered your questions about NVIDIA calls and Tesla calls. Two hot ones there that you guys had a lot of interest in. Seems like NVIDIA may have waned a little bit, but Tesla obviously hotter than ever on the show and indeed on the network these days. All right, now we come to it, listeners. 
the part of our countdown you've all been waiting for, the number one episode of the Option Block, as voted by you guys <laughs> through your downloads and streams throughout the entirety of the year. It was episode number 915, How America Trades Options, which was released on July 6th of this year. Of course, coming hot off the heels of the July 4th holiday listeners. Unfortunately, not a lot to celebrate here in the U.S. around the July 4th holiday. The markets were still, as you put it, whistling past the graveyard at this point. VIX was still very elevated at about 27 and a half up nearly a full point since our last show. So getting some of that holiday weekend juice back in over there. If you're wondering, our old friend BXX at about a 32 out there as well. Another uptick in the toll from the disease at the markets. We're still ticking up to kick off the week. Strong data out of China was driving that. So a lot of that lift coming from the overseas markets and carrying over into... Uh, the U.S. coming into that show, we saw the Shanghai composite up over 4%. The uh, Hang Seng out of Hong Kong, 3%. And the Nikkei up 1.5%. So strong gains out of Asia. Topping our list yet again was Apple for the most active. Tesla number two, Neo number three. So back to a more, shall we say, recognizable pattern, even already by early July, that we recognize right now on the show coming into the end of the year in terms of unusual activity on the odd block we talked about some puts some meaty puts going up in fizz as well as some more put activity meaty puts as well in baba and keeping an eye on some one half calls that were trading for a buck and a half (laughs) in gnus gnus you know if you've been watching the market of late that one making some noise yet again and it was on our radar back in july as well all right and that's gonna do it for our top five countdown but don't worry we're not done with the old ob for 2020 not quite yet we got some more in store for you so keep your eye on this feed next week of course we have an episode coming again on monday and something fun will hit the feed next week by new year's eve as well in the meantime have a safe and happy holiday season and we'll see you back here to finish off the year and then bright and cheerful again to kick off the new year in 2021 thanks for listening this episode is sponsored by demand derivatives a startup futures exchange in clearinghouse trading the world's major assets in a creative new way you already trade on an exchange here is your chance to own one Before they approach large strategic partners for funding, the pioneering team at Demand Derivatives launched a crowdfunding portal so that regular traders have the chance to buy shares. Learn more and become a part of this revolutionary fintech project now at demandderivatives.com slash crowdfunding. You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com.